everybody, welcome back this week. And if you happen to be looking behind us at all the stuff everywhere in this room, um, then you know that this is where we're going to be working. And we got to get everything out of here and get this cleaned out. So let's get started. So now, for those of you who do not follow us on Instagram, we're going to kind of fill you in on why this room got the way it did. So most of you know that we place an order for an RV back in May and we were told it's going to be coming in sometime in December, but we're not sure if they're for sure going to get it in or not. And we're antsy, so we've been calling around different dealers and one dealer in Georgia called us back and said they had a unit come in lightly used. It's a 20 and it's got 1500 miles on it. So we bought it over the phone and are going to um, pack up a rental van and hopefully we have everything we need and we're going to take a trip to Key West and Disney and where else are we going? Back to Georgia, then Tennessee, and then back home. Yeah, pretty much. So it was kind of a spur of the moment thing. We had kind of talked about, man, if we could just find something to use sooner, we would, we would jump on it and something came available and we did jump on it and that happened uh, I think it was a week ago today, right? Yeah, so we got a call on a Monday, and then Tuesday we got a call from the kennel saying that we had to come pick up Eliza, that they were secluding her, that she had kennel cough. So that was kind of a... So we did a spur of the moment <laughs> thing and said, okay, uh, our kids are going to help us watch the dogs, Jay. Uh, was going to help us watch the dogs around his work schedule, and then they were going to go in the kennel for a certain you know, couple days. And then the kennel that she goes training at, same place, called us and said she has kennel cough. So now we're scrambling. What are we going to do? But we got that part figured out. We're not going to take the dogs on us this trip because uh, it's crazy. Like we got to rent this car, drive eight hours. We're going to leave it like four in the morning, uh, our time. We have to do a walkthrough because we don't know how to use this thing. We have some questions and they got to show us some stuff. We're going to load all this up into the rented minivan and then we have to transfer it all over and then we're on our way so we're gonna be gone probably about 10 days we are gonna take you guys with us and try to to share some of the uh the fun <laughs> hopefully <laughs> the bad and the ugly huh no <laughs> wait who's the ugly what you said the good the bad the ugly who's the ugly i'm saying like what's gonna happen to us <laughs> there could be some bad stuff because we don't know how, what we're doing we're gonna walk through and kind of just show you some of the things that we are gonna bring um and we all might the essentials all the essentials but we may need some of this we may not need some of this we may need other stuff and like i said this is spur of the moment so we just got right on amazon right on target just started ordering a bunch of stuff and it's been coming in every single day got a ton of boxes to take out to the the trash or recycling but um all of our stuff hasn't shown up yet but we're going to kind of go through some of the stuff that we have ready and that's going to go in the van and that's what we're leaving with tomorrow morning so 4 a.m 4 a.m so we've got new bath towels and we're going to keep those at the house but for this trip we're bringing some of the old bath towels that we have hopefully we have enough and this is going to be a small trash can i'm hoping it's going to fit in the bathroom of the RV, these, my coffee cups I have to have, paper plates, bowls, silverware, and trash bags. And then we've got um, a toilet wand. I'm gonna try this, I've never used it before, but hopefully we can use it in the RV toilet. And then we've got a mini Keurig. That's mainly just for me. And then... So you're not gonna share? You don't drink coffee. These are ultrasonic pest repellent so hopefully we don't get any creatures otherwise we might be coming home early and of course I'm bringing the brownie brittle and we've got our flavor god seasoning that we're bringing this is what we eat on our popcorn then got medicine Benadryl got Imodium just in case and stool softener just in case <laughs> <laughs> and cups marshmallows and let's see so i got these little containers i was going to keep our q-tips in and then these are my makeup i use these to remove my makeup in the morning and then i don't know what these are 
What are these? They're fishing weights. Fishing weight. Why do we need fishing weights? I don't know. This was just like a waste of money. <laughs> <laughs> and we packed our vitamins so we can take our vitamins. These are Justin's. These are mine. They're different, so easy to keep them separate. And then Cheez-Its. These are more vitamins, just vitamin D. And then our nibs. And I packed some Ritz crackers. Oh boy. And then I've got our toothbrushes and toothpaste in here. Um, my detangling spray, razors, makeup wipes, some Listerine, face wash, eye makeup remover. What else? Our deodorant. I packed in a Ziploc bag. And I got. My favorite body wash and shampoo, conditioner, and then we've got our clean products in here. We've got Clorox wipes, the antibacterial Windex, because we will probably clean the RV, and we've got dish soap and two of the Mrs. Meyer soaps, one for the bathroom and one for the sink. And then we're bringing laundry soap in case we can do some laundry. And then of course, our white Cheetos, our favorite cookies, and then we've got some bars for like breakfast. And I like these oats and honey granola bars. And then Justin likes these blueberry balditas. And my K cups, we've got our popcorn. We're bringing some nuts, jelly, and peanut butter. And we're waiting on a loaf of bread, so we're gonna get a fresh loaf of bread to bring. And then we got some meals just to do like easy stuff. We're not gonna bring like pots and pans to cook this time. So we've got some Uncle Ben's fried rice. We're gonna try, don't know if it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I just lost it behind the dresser. Well, I guess I get to eat. Now we've got Premier Protein. These pillows, we're bringing our Sutera pillows to sleep on because I really like mine. I've been sleeping on mine every night. I got a box of gloves and a box of masks. So we should have enough. And then, do you want to tell what else we got? Sure. The Chalowick mats. <laughs> Go ahead. I have no idea what you just said. So I got some mats for the RV also. These are supposed to be really nice. They're like, um, they're not like a carpet material. They're like real slick, but then they have a rubber backing. So they're supposed to be nice for like easy cleanup for camping. They're like Chalowick or something like that. I don't know. But that's it. And then, oh, we got our sheets and blankets and mattress covers. So we also got a Weber propane grill and a stand and was, is that a griddle behind there? Yeah. What you ordered? Um, we're debating, we're 50-50 whether this is going with us this trip just because I'd have to figure it out, assemble it, we're actually running out of time when he's supposed to be in bed in three hours um, <laughs> to be able to make this trip. Um, so we may leave this behind for our next trip. And then behind me, is like an outdoor mat but it's foldable it's um what would you say this is kind of like it's kind of like maybe a thistle but it's like thicker anyway i think but it folds up it's got a little carrying bag so this will be like it's got size? like a plastic coating maybe what size is it it's eight, eight by ten eight by ten we'll put it out when we i guess park our rv again guys we've never done this before so we're just winging it <laughs> and i've got to finish packing this this is my ugly stick um, tackle box because I'm going to maybe try to do a little bit of fishing and get Stephanie to do some fishing. Um, I've got some tools, ratchet set, and then my tool bag here. Um, I sure hope I don't need those because I'm not very good at tool stuff, but I have it. So um, she just started throwing some of her stuff here, hair straightener, stuff like that, um, blankets, quilts. Um, Matt to step out of the shower. We've got a foldable um, aluminum table for outside of the RV. We've got some folding chairs, uh, some paper towels, a new phone mop. Uh, inside this box is some little bars that you can like extend or like rods to keep things from falling out of the refrigerator or maybe even a medicine cabinet. 
Um, we've got a new um, sprayer uh, for the shower. So we might be swapping that out. We'll have to see. I've got some, some fake wood, some fake logs, because I don't know where we're going to be. But I want to make sure that we are able to make a fire, so we have that. Um, and these two big boxes are like a memory foam topper. Is that what that says? Yeah, that is? it's three inch. Okay. Scrub Daddy. Shark Tank. This is not sponsored by Scrub Daddy, but got those. Um, inside here are some of my camping stuff. So I have, you might see it later. We'll just leave it at that. In this box, oh gosh, I don't even know. Don't sit on the bed. Okay. It's so dirty. Well, you're not going to show in here? Sure. This is like all of my gadgets with my coax cable, my different plugs, and extension cords, water hose, water reducers. That's not even interesting. All the stuff that we got to figure out, we've never used before, but we were told we had to have it. So we've got it. Um, and then we've got some weather tech mats underneath those paper towels back there. Gonna probably have to do some type of a pickup. Um, we are still trying to be safe on this trip, keep our distance and all that stuff. We were already told that the, the walkthrough is done with a mask on and is outdoors. Um, and then we're gonna go to different RV spots that we have space and we have some places reserved. And you guys will like it, hopefully. We'll take you along. Drinks back here, soda, water, Gatorade Zero, um, stuff like that. Oh, toilet paper. We've got toilet paper. <laughs> Good thing. That's essential. Um, these are laundry bags. And this is kind of all my stuff that I'm kind of putting together for inside the RV. We've got a weather alert radio. Hopefully we don't need that. Um, HDMI cords. Batteries, stuff to wipe the windows down, some rubber bands to kind of keep things organized in the RV, some fly swatters. Um, happy campers. So I think what you do with this is after you empty your doo-doo tank, you dump this in the toilet to get down in the doo-doo tank. I thought you put it in the toilet while you before you go. No, this goes down into... Or the after you go. Because <laughs> I thought it was supposed to keep from people from smelling you. We're going to figure it out. I, I am but, bringing air freshener. But I want to be a happy camper. <laughs> so I got something for the odor. Um, some lights to light up any dark spaces in the RV. And then an Apple TV. Um, and the one thing that's not coming in time is my router that gives us internet or whatever 4g wherever we are so we're gonna have to rough it so what are we gonna do so in the other room in my backpack i brought playing cards uno yahtzee and i'm gonna bring my fishing poles <laughs> <laughs> so anyway that's a majority of the stuff that we're gonna bring we still have our clothes and stuff like that um but we got to clear this room out and we got to get loaded so what are you waiting for? Yesterday I told you I think that we made a mistake Cause you and I we lost our sight It's all about giving grocery haul here for a little bit uh, we picked up stuff for Joey to eat and make on his own while we we're gone 
and a couple more items for the camping trip, but I'll show you what we got for Joey. Two, four, six, eight gallon jugs of whole milk. Um, two more 18 cartons of eggs and about eight pounds of 80-20 ground beef, a couple things of barbecue sauce. Uh, we got some spinach and then orange juice. That's about it for him. Um, so he's going to be making his stuff probably mostly in his rice cooker. For us, you got more of this? Mm -hmm. uh, so Stephanie is obsessed with this brownie brittle, salted caramel. Um, we already had the marshmallows, so we added the chocolate and the graham crackers for s'mores. We have uh, bread for our peanut butter jelly sandwiches. That's, I guess, going to be our go-to if we have nothing else. A few apples, some gum, a couple quick, easy, just add a little water, zap in the microwave type of meals in case we're out on the road and need a quick fix. Mac and cheese, some uh, creamy four cheese, what is that, rice roni cheese risotto in a bag. I mean, who doesn't love that, right? Uh, baked potato soup. Can eat it right out of the container. Like, I feel like I'm back in college. Anyway, and then I got me some tea. Um, Stephanie's a big coffee drinker. I drink tea. And so I'm gonna try the bottle tea and see how it goes. Am I boring you behind the camera? Well, I'm not a big coffee drinker. Well, okay. I only drink one cup in the morning. She prefers coffee. To get her morning started, I prefer tea. I just, yeah. So, all right? <laughs> all right, jump behind camera here with me real quick. So, we are trying to get the final touches on packing up, and it is eight o'clock. We're supposed to be sleeping in an hour. Are we gonna make it? I don't think so. <laughs> so we have to pack our clothes up, um, get a few more things together, throw it in the van for tomorrow morning. And I am going to cook a couple things to put in the refrigerator for Joey. Meal um, prep. Meal prep. Um, he's training, by the way, to, I guess, compete for powerlifting some more. And he's, you know, lifting more and more weights. And he's just eating a lot of eggs and meat and whole milk and all that stuff, as you guys saw. So that will probably be all gone when we get back. Yeah. If he runs out, he'll have to go to the store, I guess. I showed him how to Instacart stuff, so. There you go. And so, if you guys are following us on Instagram, you probably will see some sneak peeks into the places we're going, what we're up to. If you're not yet following us, why not? And appreciate you guys watching. And when we get back, we will hopefully put a vlog together to show our adventure <laughs> Um, heading down to Key West, if we make it. Right. <laughs> we don't get called home before we get down there. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. I'm sure it will. <laughs> See you guys soon. Just as a side note, uh, you probably saw us throwing everything in trash bags. That was a throwback. When we first got married, we didn't really have a lot to our name, but anything we did have, we moved a lot. We moved like eight times in a year. We just... Throw it in trash bags, pick it up, throw it in the car, <laughs> onto the new place, bada boom, bada bing. It was an easy move. Easy move. This time, we didn't want any extra trash, any extra boxes, so we're trying to take everything out of the wrapping and so that we can transfer the stuff from the rental car to the RV. And we can use the trash bags. Then we use the trash bags. So, we're saving the planet. Don't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's what we're doing and um, Oh, I thought there's another reason why we have trash bags, but we're not going to get into that. Okay, so we have to take a dookie? <laughs> no. For emergency, for poncho, in okay. case it rains. Yep, yeah, poncho. In case we get caught in the rain. That's it, right? <laughs> You're not going to poop in a bag? No. <laughs> I'm standing here in plain sight. Still it doesn't seem like you see me. I hate everything about this night. Doesn't matter what I do.
happen if we did it right? 